Hello and welcome to Module 1 Web Portfolio Design Checkpoint Part 3. In this uh, video I'm going to go over this last chunk where I speak to mechanics and content. The content you've been building all along so that really shouldn't be a problem as long as you keep up with your weekly exercises. These two portions where I speak to extra widgets and menus that is something you do want to pay attention to. Back in our course we had a variety of videos that spoke to widgets and they spoke to menus. Um, and I did have an assignment piece for you guys to do something with the widgets and the menus. Um, however, a lot of folks did not necessarily do that or you did minimal things to it. I'm going to give you an example of what I would expect to have in place by your midpoint. Now, you can follow my uh, example exactly or you can get creative and do something of your own. That's fine too but whatever you do by the time you get to the midpoint evaluation you want the extra widgets um, in place that you think are necessary more importantly you want the unnecessary widgets to be removed and you want two or more menus in place so let me go ahead and minimize this and talk about what I'm, I'm seeing here first of all I'm seeing this if I take a look into my theme options here I have some layout options <clears throat> here under design and layout. Boxed layout is the way to go so I can see the background. I can see there's a default layout of a right bar here. Now it looks a little odd when I'm looking at it here because it doesn't look like it's a right bar. It looks like it's a left bar. But that's mainly because I have not um, saved actually this particular setting. So I know that it truly is a left block. Now in this particular case, here's the situation. I can see there are archives and meta here and yet down here I can also see archives and meta here. So I've got the same repeating blocks. That's not necessary, uh, number one. Number two, I can tell that you haven't done anything because this still exists. And, and the deal is this, is that because I've chosen a layout where I have a left side menu, WordPress is going to automatically put some placeholder chunks in there until I can um, put something else in there. Let me just show you super quick. If I go over here to widgets and I click on my left sidebar, notice that there's nothing here whatsoever. And yet when I look out here, there certainly is stuff out here. And what that just tells me is that this is just default content to open up and hold this space open. It's kind of WordPress's way to say to you that you've got this space open, you've selected it as a, as a layout, now you need to do something with it. Archives do not apply to us because I've directed you to use pages. So archives will not apply and this is what I mean by unnecessary widgets. You shouldn't have archives on your page because you're not using them. The meta portion, you may certainly use that if you want, but I might also recommend putting that down here into the footer area so that it's not as obvious on the top left there. So at the end of the day, I think it would be fine to leave a search box here um, and then we'll put in some other stuff here. I, I actually think ideally we would move these three links to a separate menu and put them in to a separate menu over here. So let me show you some of that. First of all, because there's no uh, nothing in the left sidebar, bar, and I've already explained that all of this is sitting in here just as simply a default, I need to put something in here. So this is going to seem a little bit strange. You're going to say to me, well, I already have a search here, Evelyn. Why would I put another one in? Well, mainly you'd have to put something in over here in order to get the default to go away. So let me show you what that means. I'm going to find that search and click and drag it in there. <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a title of search and I'm going to save it. Now when I come out here and reload I should expect just the search. Okay so that default content of which before a search button was a part of that default content the default content is gone and now the only thing that's appearing in the left hand side is just what I'm specifying here. Now some of the things that you should do is also put in a uh, text box and it's really important to understand the way these widgets work. All of these widgets over here are always available to you. So even if you remove them from your different um, bars, uh, whether it's your footer or um, 
you know, your contact page sidebar, whatever, whether you remove them from any of your sidebars or not, it doesn't matter. They're always present. You can always bring them back by just dragging and dropping them. So I was in the middle of trying to put in a text box. There it is. And so now I'm going to put it in and I'm just going to drag it over here and drag it underneath the sidebar. And I'm going to just type an about me and I'm going to do author E. Horner. And for the moment, I'm going to leave just that. There are some tips and tricks that I will show you a little bit later in session nine on how to get more in there and make that a little bit fancier. But for the moment, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and close it so it doesn't expand out. And I'm going to go ahead and reload and take a look at what that looks like. And there it is. So um, very, very simple. But now I've got some stuff going on in the left side. In addition to that, what I want to do is I want to take a look down here. Again, archives and tags both have to deal with um, posts, which we are not doing. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to take a look. There's that calendar. There's the tag cloud. So I'm going to delete that. And the archive cloud, and I'm going to delete that. Again, don't worry that these things go away forever. They don't. I would just simply have to drag and drop whatever I want back into here. Now, the sidebar footer 4 has that meta combination in there, and that's fine. So I'm going to reload this. These two center pieces should go away. Now, in terms of this, whether you like this or not, if you wanted to pull the meta out of here and put it into the left sidebar over here, you could. If you wanted to pull the calendar out of here um, and put it in the left sidebar, you could. Or, alternately, if you're using a right sidebar, you can do that as well. Either way, um, make a decision. If you pull these two widgets out, then this whole section collapses and you don't see that dark uh, piece down there. But totally up to you. You could also put the About Me down here. Whatever you would like to do. I like the fact that there's two here because that's kind of balanced. I don't know that I would like three, but um, that's totally up to you. I'm going to actually stop this video now because I've gone on for a second or two longer than I thought. I'm going to come back to you in a moment with a tutorial on menus. See you in a minute.